hands on. I'm honored to here to open an exhibition commemorating this 60-year-old journey, Ghana, the road to independence. This exhibition pays homage to our forebears whose blood, sweat, and toil won us our independence. I'm happy this exhibition showcases many everyday people, ranging from market women to farmers, without whose contributions our independence would have remained a pipe dream. This exhibition also puts light on statesmen like Joseph Ephraim Casey Hayford and an accomplished playwright and lawyer, Kwabnasichi. Pa Grant, the financier and president of the United Gold Coast Convention, the Gold Coast's first mass political party, is featured here too. And so are the big six, Obeche Bilamte, Kwame Nkrumah, Akwa Jay, my granduncle Dankwa, my uncle Willie, Wule Mufureata, and my father, Edward Akufu Addo. I treat the general public to come and see the interesting exhibits on, on display and learn about our history. And I hope as many children as possible will get the chance to see this exhibition too. I pray this exhibition inspires Ghanaians to use their talents and energies to do something in their own small way to boost Ghana's development in line with the theme of the 60th anniversary, mobilizing for the future. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning I also have another very pleasant duty to perform at this ceremony. As part of the activities marking Ghana's 60th anniversary and to celebrate the Ghana Museums and Monuments Board's 60th anniversary, I'm here at this ancient Christian's Ball Castle to commission a 60th anniversary legacy project, the Presidential Museum of Ghana. I've therefore tasked the Minister for Tourism, Creative Arts and Culture to spearhead the transformation of the old castle into a museum that celebrates our past presidents and inspires all of us to look to their achievements and learn lessons with which we can contribute to Ghana's progress and by so doing, leave a worthwhile legacy for future generations. The Christian's War Castle, originally built by the Danes, and I'm happy that the ambassador is here to share this moment of history with us, became the seat of government in 19, 1877, when Accra became the capital city. In 2013, the seat of government was moved to Jubilee House, a legacy project built to mark Ghana's 50th anniversary of independence, its Golden Jubilee. This castle is therefore a perfect location to house a museum which celebrates the achievements and the lives of the presidents who spend their time working in it. The vision is to have a state-of-the-art museum which will house presidential artifacts, presidential papers, wax works of our presidents, and also have on display personal, personal possessions like books, artworks, and items of clothing to allow us to honor appropriately their memories. One interesting exhibit at this museum will surely be the room the British Queen Elizabeth II slept in during her state visit to Ghana in 1960. And there will also be bookshops, research rooms, well manicured gardens and sculptures and artworks rendered by Ghana's finest craftsmen and artists for researchers. 
I have again instructed the Minister for Tourism to convene rapidly an Investment in Culture Forum. The forum will, amongst others, focus on drawing the necessary investment towards the restoration of our forts and castles, provision of access for our creative communities, that is our singers, dancers, and filmmakers, to investment, and ensuring a vibrant cultural content for both domestic and international tourism. The, the forum should also propose ways by which we can appropriately honor memories of the African diaspora, Maya Angelou, George Padmore, and W.B. Du Bois, who were initially interred here, Muhammad Ali, Pele, amongst others, all of whom stress their connection to our country. One can imagine the amount of interest and the boost for tourism this would generate in the African-American communities of the Americas and the Caribbean. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the singular honor of commissioning the Presidential Museum of Ghana, a legacy project to commemorate Ghana's 60th anniversary. 